Adamson Developers came to be, my dad was a sharecropper, and he raised cotton. I didn't want to be a cotton picker. So we was able to buy the 50 acres that he sharecropped. And then we turned, decided that we was going to develop that. And we started there with Adamson Place developing. So at first we was just going to develop, but we developed the property. We couldn't get anybody to come and build on it. So then we had to go get our contractor license. So we started building and we built it out. And then we spread it out and started working in the city and, and all the around areas. I guess the biggest one we're working on right now is the uh, 300 luxury apartments out at Volkswagen, uh, Summit Point Apartments. We knew and figured that those apartments were the key to that area to build it, to uh, get capacity of more people living there. Uh, typically, you looked at it, people have come in and have jumped over Summit, have gone to Ottawa and Collegedale or stayed at Hamilton Place. They never looked at that exit. On uh, ML King, we have some green homes we're building over there. We have college students and young professionals that live in those. And then around the area, we're still doing other small developments. And one year, we had the opportunity to work with Howard students that they had this uh, drafting program over there. They drew, the, they drew the house, and they brought it to our site. We worked with C&E. We brought it out, we built two houses. They drew their own house, and we took them out with their own hands and worked with trades to build those two houses that summer for that program. See, what people don't know is my mother died when I was 13, so I was one of those kids. So it's something in me that want to give back and help pull those kids up so they know they can be a winner too. To learn more about the chamber, visit chattanoogachamber.com.